Last week I was attacked cowardly by some Chinese bots or whatever that took over my Ionic Academy. But as a good software developer you always know how to fix those things with the help of someone who joined my team. I was able to fight back the intruders and claim back what was mine all the time. But let's take a step back first and see what actually happened last week. Imagine being on vacation with your family and then one day you wake up pretty relaxed or not relaxed with our six month old baby. You're awake a bit earlier, you check your Twitter and then you see a tweet like this. At that moment actually I didn't really give a lot about this tweet because previously I had messed up links and emails and tweets and all of this before I added spaces and everything was messed up. I didn't really actually got what was the problem. I actually followed the link and I also saw it but I think I was a bit dizzy or still sleepy. I don't know how I missed this. It wasn't really a problem that the link was wrong. What was actually happening is you followed the link to the Ionic Academy and then you were redirected once and twice and then a few times redirected until you ended on a like phishing page or something. Sometimes Google uh, throw a little warning alert or whatever. It was really looking not really good. I don't know how I overlooked this actually. So then for whatever reason uh, I checked the page again and noticed that this actually happened on all the pages, not just this one link, which was kind of mm, scary, I would say. So then I checked my inbox. At that point, I realized that something was very wrong. So overnight, a bunch of people emailed me saying, uh, my page was hacked, why is the page down, I can't log in. Actually, there seemed to be like a real problem, so I had to dive deeper into this. What then started was a journey to somehow find out what was going on. Of course, I can't tell you uh, how to fix any hack or if you've been hacked, you can like be hacked on a scale from one to uh, 100 in different ways. Um, in my case, I was using WordPress. Loser. Yeah, thanks for the blame. And some of the plugins have uh, problems from time to time that can be exploited. Apparently, I was using one of the plugins. Just a few days earlier, a hack was made public. I was affected by that, but I only noticed this later. Up until the morning, I was just trying to figure out what was going on. And the first thing or the first step I actually took was this. Because the page was redirecting everyone to those, uh, I don't know, phishing pages that look really scary, I wanted to make sure that the page is redirecting to something that looks a bit more legit. I created a new WordPress site titled it something like maintenance mode on my main blog and then I changed the htaccess file on the web server so every traffic that came to the Ionic Academy was immediately transferred back to my main blog and saw only the maintenance page. Of course it's not good because the page was unusable and down completely during that time but it actually made the thing look a bit more legit like I was doing some maintenance stuff. <coughs> <coughs> After this was in place um, I dig deeper into the log file. You can basically always find some Apache logs or PHP logs if you're on WordPress. It is sometimes really hard to read. I just tried to uh, flicker through them and find something that didn't really look legit. At some point I actually found something that was accessed from an IP that is in China doing some things on the WordPress and calling routes that shouldn't be called actually by a normal user so that made me I uh, think that there might be the problem. And then finally, what I also did, of course, was to look if something on the server was changed. So I read about ghost users that were created in the database, which uh, luckily weren't created. That's a different hack, I guess. In my case, only the files were a bit corrupted. So I then checked which of the files on the web server were changed in the last um, hours or the last day. This gave me um, a list of files all in one caching folder. So then I explored what was going on in those files and that's when I found this piece of code. So this is basically something that was injected into those pages um, and every page in the head would evaluate this bit code 
it is really obscured, you can't really see what's going on, but in the end this will transfer to uh, something that will be evaluated and redirecting the users to another page and then, you know, the redirecting loop goes on and brings you to that phishing page in the end. So in my case, I only had to get rid of those files, remove them, no database was changed, no user data was lost or anything like this. I only had to remove these files and then everything worked again. But of course I missed to uh, revert some changes in the htaccess file that I made earlier. Loser. So it was basically my fault that the page was down for another like six hours. Yeah, what can I say? Shift happens. <coughs> okay, so what can we learn from this? First, um, always check your Twitter in the morning. No, that's a very bad learning. When something like this happens, try to stay cool. Try to first find the reason uh, why it is happening. So what is going on in my case, it was the code that was injected to the HTML file. Then try to find intermediate solution, which was in my case to change the HTX test file. So the users are not so scared and are just seeing the pages and the maintenance and then you can do your work. And then third, find the actual uh, root of the course, delete it and get Get rid of the hack. If you're being infected with this as well, uh, I hope it was also uh, not as bad as it was in my case. I updated the plugins now, so everything works pretty flawless again. But with WordPress, there's always the uh, possibility that some things uh, go wrong. Some plugins that you use might have a little backdoor whatever open to some Chinese bots that are taking over your page. All right, and that's it for this week. Actually, my voice is still not really on the top level. Sorry if the quality is a bit bad. I tried to tell you the story as it was last week. It was pretty scary back then. Uh, by now I'm happy everything's fine again. Anyway, um, I'm always looking for ideas that you would like to see. As I told you in the beginning, I really want to um, meet your needs. Is that what you say? I think so. Definitely. Oh, there's a nice shadow, right? Okay, like a three-year-old playing with a shetty. Anyhow, if you want to see something like a little behind the scenes, what I do here with all the things and the green screen, or if you got anything else that you would like to see from my work, from the live, please let me know below. I'm always super happy to show you whatever you want to see. Um, although that maybe sounds strange right now. Um, uh, yeah, how do we end this now? I just say like the video, subscribe, thanks for watching, have a great week, build something awesome and as always, happy coding, Simon. <laughs>